okay so this video is all about cost saving so what we are doing is we're trying to integrate both the local and the cloud model working together for a common solution or a common problem the tldr is that since we have small language models well small is not that small but since we have local models running on our devices and then we use cloud llms uh, to power up the large llms why not use the smaller LLMs which we have our in our own local devices to help the large language models in performing some tasks so as to reduce the cost of the tokens. What we do is that since, for example, I have Olama running on my system, if I go to CMD and I can say Olama list and I can see that we have all these models running on my system in this example we are going to see llama 3.2 as a local model so we see the llama 3.2 is available as my local system why not use this and help the large language model running on the cloud in performing some specific tasks what we are going to do is we are going to use two llms so for example here we are going to use the local llm as llama 3.2 and DeepSeek v3 as the llm from the remote okay so when we pass in a question it is going to go to the remote model first. The remote model is going to come up with some task for the local model. The local model performs those tasks, minute tasks, and returns the answer to the remote model. It's an optimization problem that you're looking here. So for example, we have this question. This is a user asked this question and uh, the remote model takes up the question and it says that it needs to know the total revenue and the depreciation and amortization expense so the local model goes ahead goes through the documents and gets the answer so this local system passes the answer to the remote lm and the remote lm thinks and tries if it is suitable to answer the question asked by the user if it is then it goes ahead and gives the response if it is not and it needs more information to answer the user's query it's going to go ahead and give more instruction to the local lm and ask it a few more things this is an example where we have one model running on the cloud and there are different smaller models running on our local system so you can see that the large language model running on the cloud assigns you know prepares different jobs for the smaller llms which are running on a local system then all these jobs are processed by the local lms and the response are forwarded to the remote lms and ultimately we can see that compiling all these answers the remote lm gives out the response and you can look at the cost it's pretty awesome so on the x-axis we have the remote cost uh, pro problem and you can see on the accuracy so alone uh, uh, you know local system alone has a very less accuracy but with minions you can see that there is 17.5 percent of, of you know there is only 17.5 percent of the cost because we are delegating the problems to the local lms that we have and you can see that it's very high accuracy so 97.9 percent accuracy so for running this sophisticated system you don't need much uh, we have this github repo and what you're going to do is you're going to just clone the repo cd into it and install the dependencies make sure we have olama running make sure you have the api keys from api.together or you can use OpenAI as well. There are different LMs that you can use. See a few examples. This is a revolution, I would say. This is like using agents, but each of the agents is an LLM itself. They can be processed. They can The minions can process the tasks in parallel and then pass the responses to the LLMs running on the cloud. So let's go ahead and do the setup. I will paste in on the links in the description and you can go ahead and try. Let's go to the setup. Cool, let's go ahead and create a new Conda environment. So Conda create dash N and we can now activate this environment. Then you're going to clone this repo. We change into the directory now, CD. And then we are going to install the dependencies, pip install dash E dot. And now we are ready to run. So before that, we need to set the together API keys. We can go to api.together and you can copy this key. I'll paste in the link. 
once you have the key we can say and it's pretty simple we can say streamlit run app.py this will open up your browser your local host and we need to allow this we have some issue mcp is not installed so we need to install mcp so pip install and mcp this should do it okay so now we go ahead and run this app streamlit run app and we can see that we have together.ai here and we don't need to do anything because we have already set the api key so we are good to go so we have this as local model on the left you can see that we can select all these models from the left uh, as our local model in this video we're going to see and go with recommended uh, llama 3.2 model and on the remote model we are going to select deepseek v3 which is the recommended model now for the local models we are going to be using olama as we know in my videos i have gone through in depth using olama and showing different use cases so we can go to olama download it for windows mac and linux i am on my windows i have already gone ahead and done the installation you can go to models and you can download uh, different models that is required in this case the model that is required is this one llama 3.2 so i will go on my cmd and you can see that if we say oh llama list i should have this model here so llama 3.2 latest so this model you're gonna download if it's not available then you can go and say oh llama pull llama 3.2 so this is the command that you need to make and once you do that you can see success here so this will get pulled into your system also make sure that you have olama running as it is evident from from this uh icon that you see on the bottom also if you go to localhost uh, 11434 uh, 11434 this should also show that olama is running so we have our olama running and now it's pretty simple to get going so let's try out a different couple of things so uh, what i've done is i've gone to an llm and asked it to generate a report uh, such as this so i've generated report on my doc file and um, the report is basically a pdf file now so this is an xyz corporation balance sheet and you can see that we have executive summary key financial highlights and we have the balance sheet here we have the liabilities here shareholders equity financial analysis debt equity ratio gross profit margin and i have constructed this in such a way that the dollar value of profit is not available so we need to find the profit of uh, in in terms of dollar for this company so xyz corporation so we are going to be using this report for our analysis now next uh, we go and drop this report first of all so report is dropped now this is going to chunk and do everything what you need to do is to give a one sentence description of the context so one sentence description is what it is is you can go ahead and you can see that this is a balance sheet report so i'm going to just paste it the word balance sheet report and then i'm going to ask the question so so what is the profit as derived from the balance sheet report now when i press enter this is going to start up the remote model and the remote model is going to assign task to the local model so that locally we can do some things and return the reply to the remote model so as to save tokens and you know lessen the cost so let's see uh, we have pressed enter and you can see now it's initializing client for minion protocol and is starting up the protocol now let's see okay so the query is what is the profit is derived from the balance sheet report it is solving task and you can see the remote model is working very hard so the remote model has come up with uh, some things here and you can see that remote model uh, 
think step by step here to determine the profit from the balance sheet report i need to understand the key components that contribute to profit typically profit is calculated as a difference between total revenue and total expense however the balance sheet primarily provides information about assets liabilities and equity not directly about revenue expenses therefore need to ask the small language model to identify the relevant components from the balance sheet that can help derive the profit such as earnings or net income so the message from the large or from the remote model to the local model is to identify the components in the balance sheet report that can be used to derive the profit such as retained earnings or net income okay and you can see here this is what uh, the local model does to derive the profit from the balance sheet report we need to look at the following components retain earnings and net income here's a step-by-step -step calculation total assets subtract total liabilities uh, operating profit after taxes and a PAT. Since the report doesn't provide the net income directly, we can assume that the net operating profit after tax is equivalent to return on equity, which is 12.5%. However, if we want to derive the actual profit, we would need additional information about the company's tax rate and interest expenses. In this case, since the report doesn't provide net income directly, we can only infer that retained earnings this represents a portion of the company's profit. So, the response from the language model, say, uh, provide some insights into deriving profit from the balance sheet report it mentions that a retained earnings of this represents a portion of the company's profit however it is to highlight that net income can be directly calculated from the balance sheet without additional information such as company's tax rate and interest expenses since the task is to determine the profit and the response doesn't provide a definitive calculation of net income i do not have enough information to provide a final answer therefore i need to request additional information to complete the task so I request additional information and provide the company's tax rate and interest expenses to calculate net income. So what it did was to calculate the net income using the balance sheet report, we need additional information. So this is the median working here. So the tax rate is effective company tax rate is 25%. Interest expenses is this. Using these assumptions, we can calculate net income. So the net income is this. Okay, thanks step by step. The response from larger models provides a detailed calculation of the net income based on assumptions about a company's company's tax rate and interest expense. And uh, since the task of demand profit, the response provides a calculated value for net income. I have enough information to provide a final answer. So the company's net profit or net income is approximately okay. It gave me the calculated net income, not profit, but anyhow. We can see that the company's profit net income is approximately this and you can see the token usage uh, from the local tokens this is 2361 and deep seek is this so we can see that these completion uh, tokens uh, are the ones that has been saved and we have used our local system to do this completion model uh, completion tokens and thereby we have saved some tokens and save some money and in the same way we can go ahead and do minions so here we have a lot of minion uh, talking with the remote model and we are going to see much complicated results you know test this out and if you find any issues please let me know and i will see you next time